You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an install guide on how to download, install, and configure Open Fortress in 2022. So I made a video about this two years ago when this mod first came out, and it's a little bit outdated now because the game got taken offline for a bit, it's back now, and thankfully it's much simpler to install. In the past you had to install like this SVN client and put in all this information. It was, it was a little complicated. Now it's far, far simpler. So I'm gonna walk you guys through how to set it up today. So, yeah, what is Open Fortress? The free TF2 mod, you probably know that already. Uh, to begin, we're going to open up Steam here, and you're going to want to have Team Fortress 2 installed if you don't have it already. And then you want to go up here to where it says Games and Software, or maybe it just says Games, depending on what all you have checked. You want to make sure you have the Tools box checked. So do that, and then go alphabetically to S. We're looking for Source. Source, source, source. Here it is. Okay, so source SDK base right here. We want 2013 multiplayer. So you're going to want to make sure that you install that. So you're going to want to install this and TF2. You can see it's installing. It, uh, it only just takes a short little bit. And once that's installed, we can go ahead and work on Open Fortress. So right here where it says download now, we're going to click on that. Now I am using Microsoft Edge. I don't know what Google Chrome does, but I'm assuming it's probably the same. For me, it pops up and says it could harm your device. Do you want to keep it anyway? It's perfectly safe, so you can just go ahead and hit keep. And there you go. It's going to say of toast.exe. It's basically a different client they use to install the game. Uh, again, it pops up here with an error message. Windows protected your PC. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen Prevent Unrecognized App. Blah, blah, blah. Hit more info. Run anyway. Again, it's perfectly safe. I am going to close the website now. Uh, so it pops up here, says carrying on, SDK 2013 already installed, because we installed that in the background. This is where it's going to install the game in Steam. This is the URL. You want to keep all this the same. Don't mess with it. And then hit update. So if the game comes out with an update, if the developers release a new version, this is also how you install the update for the game, is you just do this exact same thing. You download the version from the website, and then uh, hit the update button. It'll st install the game update. And you can get right back into the action. So you can see right here, there's the little loading bar. It's uh, it's going fairly quick, but it's probably gonna take a moment. So I'm gonna cut till about near the end. Alrighty guys, so we're back now. You can see it's almost fully installed. Uh, it took about two, three minutes. I have pretty decent internet, so it installs fairly quickly. Might be a little shorter or a little bit longer for you, depending on what your speeds are. So we're going to wait until this is finally finished. It will pop up and basically give us a little done message. Um, the first time I did this, it I have a multi-monitor set up, and the little done box popped up over here on my other monitor instead of here on the main one. I, I have no idea why. Uh, but you can see this time popped up here just normal. So done, okay. All that's going to close. And now all we need to do is restart Steam. So we can go up here to Steam and hit Exit. And that's done. This is my old uh, installation video page. And Steam, we're just going to go ahead and restart that. All right. So we're back on Steam now. And Team Fortress 2. Going to want to scroll up our list here. And we should see under O, there should now be Open Fortress. And there is. And there you go, guys. That's basically all there is to it. You can go ahead and start playing Open Fortress in on the right away. Oh boy, I shouldn't have done that, should I? All right, sorry about that. I started the game and then it kind of <laughs> kind of messed up the recording there. But like I was saying, that's all there basically is to it. You can go ahead and start the game, get right into the action. Oh man, that's loud. But yeah, you can hit join server. There's plenty of servers to play on. Uh, some which have plenty of people. This one is 22, this one is 39. Uh, there's a few more that are populated in the US, Europe, all kinds of places really. Again, I haven't really played this much or streamed it in like two years. I'm looking forward to going back and playing this game again because I remember it being so fun. I'm looking forward to seeing all the new stuff that they've added into it since then. Anyway guys, quick little tutorial video today. Hope you all enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please do make sure and leave a like. Thank you all very much for watching. Till next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming. I will see you all at the top. Mary had a little lamb. She broke its neck and ate it.